Hello, and welcome to another video installment of the channel. Today, we are talking about a biopod and poison dart frogs. Let's start by talking about the pod itself. Uh, basically, this is its own ecosystem. You once you've put your stuff in there, you haven't got to do anything else other than top up the reservoir at the back. I'll get to the reservoir and explain to you in a minute what that is all about and what it does. But how this is set up is at the bottom layer, you have a false bottom, which is there are filtration balls. It allows the water to flow through, filter from the bottom back into the system, which runs down the moss wall at the back. That live wall at the back is all wet, damp moss. Every hour, that'll dispense water from the top right down, causing that moss to stay lovely and damp throughout the day, which is great for an ecosystem. Um, next up, after the moss, after after the hydro balls, will be a weed blocker, topped off with a special earth mix, uh, which we found was rather expensive. Because it's not just something you can go and get out your garden. You have to actually go and get this specially made up. Uh, it's a mixture of two different soils. Uh, what, it, what it is, I couldn't tell you. Uh, top it off with some moss. Decor, plants. This whole system does not need maintenance, as I said earlier. All you've got to do is top up the reservoir at the back with deionized water and it's good to go it's got these nozzles these nozzles make it rain every uh twice a day so maybe for 30 seconds so it'll rain or say mist should i say for it's got to be about a minute a minute and a half per day which keeps all the plant life moist the ground moist and the frogs love it you can tell i'm doing a video so nosy. Second one. A little bit shyer. But still very nosy. There is another one in there somewhere. It likes to hide. The Biopod does come with an app. Uh, the app on your phone. It tells you everything about it. Such as the temperatures. The time it's going to rain. Uh, when the irrigation system which is the water down the back of the moss kicks in the time the lights come on the time the lights go off it does its own aeration it'll um, change the air temperature it changes the ground temperature it does everything automatic so long as you tell the app what frogs you actually have in your biopod and everything is automated just got to feed them and keep topping up that water as you can see Two frogs looking very healthy. Excuse the state of the front. The misters have not long been on. As you can see, it's damp. So it's left a bit of a mess on the front glass. But as you can see, the frogs, they're not scared at all. <laughs> as I say, there is normally another one in there. Probably hiding his little hidey hole, which is just up there. But apparently he's not in there right now. He's in there somewhere. The food for these frogs are flightless fruit flies. Known as Drosophilia melanogaster. We do need to top up on these. As you see, there's not many left in there. A lot of uh, caskets, but not a lot of life. We do have another one there, so we do have plenty of spares, so we're never going to run out of food. That's what they eat. Flightless fruit fries. 75 a day each. So we just chuck them in until the frogs stop eating. See if I can get him uh, up close. There he is. 
<laughs> These are citronella dart frogs. We was told by the shop where we got them from that they were bumblebee frogs, but it appears the shop was wrong. And everybody has informed me that they are called citronella. We have all sorts of plants in there as well. We have the very tall, which gives the frogs a nice sense of security. We've added one to the back, uh, which has just started to flow with the red. That should look really nice. That should be sprouting way up towards the ceiling when that's done. These are expected to grow up. They stay low. Um, they spread out along the floor, which, again, will give them some nice, nice sense of security and something to sit on because they're not really a fan of this moss. The only reason I have that moss in there is to hold the damp but as you can see now the irrigation on the back wall starting that water will flow all the way along the back living wall keeping that moss nice and damp uh, back onto the plants this front one good for catching the flies the fl flies will sit in there come out at the bottom over time thinking they've got nowhere else to go and the frogs can then go back and have a feast the one at the back, that should sprout right across, right up, and right across the back wall. So, I will do another video of uh, this in the near future, just to show you what it looks like a couple months later. Just underneath. But I think that looks absolutely epic. There'll be a lot more colour in a few months, as I say, with that black, uh, that back flower just showing a bit more colour. There will be a lot more. That's getting pink as well, as I say. So there will be more colour in the upcoming months. Oh, yeah. As you can see, I've just managed to catch it raining. The frogs are out the back, but they will probably come back out in a second this rain will do this for 30 seconds and then stop itself and then it'll do it again a bit later tonight there we go so a bit of rain and he soon comes out to have a look but yeah it'll do that twice a day 30 seconds a time Keeps everything nice and moist. That one only did it for that second time because I set it to manual on the app. You can set it to your have your own settings or have it as automatic, which is where you just tell the uh, biopod and the app on your phone what frogs you're having there, and then everything is completely automated from the UV, the lights, the irrigation, the aeration, the misting. The temperature, the ground temperature, humidity, or everything. But yeah, there we have it. Citronella, poison dart frogs, and a biopod terror. If anyone's looking at getting one, feel free. Definitely go get one of these biopod terrors. They are extremely easy to use, completely maintenance free. Frogs so easy to look after and we can sit here eating our dinner watching these jumping around ever so fun to watch they're actually quite funny characters when uh, you chuck some food in because they'll sit up the glass as they are now expecting food which I think that's what they're expecting now you've been fed once no <laughs> There we have it, the Biopod Terra and the Citronella Poison Dart Frogs. So there we go, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions regarding the vivarium or the frogs, give me a comment below and I will get back to you. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you again.